You don't know what it will be another 5, 10, 15, even 20 years from now, mighty God. But it all started here. It all started here with your work. The work that you would have started in your people, in your women, mighty God. Instilling in them every virtue and every discipline, every good and bad thing that they would have encountered so that they could be here in order to share their testimonies, building each other up in the most holy of faith. Father God, even your word teaches that the young women should learn from the older women, mighty God. Father God, even now, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the wisdom and the understanding, the knowledge and the tutelage that you would have given unto your daughters to impart knowledge and to pass it on from one generation to the next. Father God, I pray, Lord, that it will not just be something where we all come together here and gather, but that we will go out into the world, mighty God, be ministers of your truth to yes, young women Lord. across the world. Yes, Lord. Lord, we yes, thank Lord. you so much that even when we teach our children, that they will go on, mighty God, to speak of your goodness in the schools, in the bus park or the bus station, wherever it is that they have been guided by you. Lord, we thank you so much, Lord. Many a times we come across certain things that we don't even understand. And we keep saying, God, why? Why do these things happen to me? But why not me? Why not me? Father God, it is often said, Lord, that your best soldiers are usually sent on the front, mighty God, to face each battle. And so I know that whatever it is that we are going through, mighty God, we're going to come out even stronger than ever and even more victorious yes. because we have you. Yes, Lord. Greater yes, is Lord. he that is in us yes, than he Lord. is in the world. Yes, Lord, Lord, Lord. 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 online mighty God via YouTube that later on even though some of them might not be able to see now then it will be a blessing to them later on mighty God and they will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living Father God, I just want your word to reassure your women, mighty God, your Deborahs, your Deborahs, your Esthers, your Ruth, that mighty God that have been called to be virtuous and victorious women of honor in you, O oh Lord. Father God, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for what it is that you are doing even now. I can't, I can't stress it or say it anymore, but just to give you a thanks for all that you are doing in this time, in this season, in the month of July 2024 onward. Lord, thank you so much for the open doors, for the pathways, mighty God, for the blockages, everything that you would have moved out of our way. God, we delight in you. We rejoice in you. We boast in you because you are our God and we have seen your work. Oh God, we thank you, Jesus. Oh God, we pray, Lord, for supernatural encounters like we have never seen them before. Father God, we have come across so many stories in the Bible where, you know, your women servants and your men servants will have encountered your glory, but we want more of that in the 21st century even now. Lord, we want to blow other people's mind concerning your goodness. We want to blow other people's mind concerning the faithfulness of God. You have always been faithful to you, to your servants, to your children, Lord. Oh God, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. The word declares, great is your faithfulness towards us. Morning by morning, new mercies we see. All we have needed, your hands have provided. Lord, and even sometimes we take for granted even the small things that you do for us, God. Forgive us for taking even the smallest things for granted because it is showing your hand in work in our lives, God. And it even shows that if we are faithful with even the small things, let alone the grand things that you will be making way for us later on in the future. God, we thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. 
You know, the characteristics of Christ are always true, are always virtuous, are always upright, are always that of diligence. Oh God, you're such a man of your word. I've never, I have never heard you, mighty God, jeopardizing or coming against your word because you're true to what you say. Mighty God, you honor your word. And there are things that you would have spoken from Genesis to Revelation, but there are also things outside of the Bible that you would have shown us as your children, God. Father God, you are more than the 66 books of the Bible, God. You want to show and reveal yourselves in ways that not even our great-grandparents would have seen you. God, we thank you, Lord, that even now we are generational breakers for our families. Father, we thank you, Lord, that the things that you used to offer with our children and our children's children will not continue because you stopped with us.